check out my new ride, fellas. Now that my other one's a ride off, this is my new ride. 50cc, north to, north to 60 in four minutes. Sweet ass ride. You're, not, you're just supposed to move it. If you move it like that, it's supposed to lift it up. Ow. Seriously, what the fuck? Yeah. Hey, Mum. How do you get the stand off your scooter? Yep. Yeah, it's locked. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll see if that works now. Yeah, okay, that's it, that's done it. All right. Ah, really got it. See how I can count it. Ooh, what's that? That's not me, is it? <laughs> Fuck, this feels weird. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm seriously going, to, oh, oh, I'm doing like 56 or something. How do people do this? <laughs> <laughs> oh please! Oh, at least they're giving me a nice distance. Oh, come on! <laughs> Let's see. Let's do 0 to 60. 0 to 60 test. Come on. Let's do this. I started at 15. Let's watch the. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. <laughs> it's not even a real test. Oh, this is bad. This is a 70 zone. This is really bad. I'll pull in here. I feel so like, I don't want to be in people's way, I feel so bad, <laughs> I pull up at the next bus stop, <laughs> this is ridiculous, imagine doing this every day, no, I'll wait till that car goes, hurry the fuck up, you're going slower than me, man, Maybe I shouldn't have done this because I've lost like all my bloody... <laughs> How do cyclists do this? Sorry cyclists, I know... I know there's a few of you that watch me, but I just can't do what you guys do. How can you be so slow and feel fine? I feel so bad. Come on! Come on! <sighs> this is like... You know when you're at one of those, those moments in your life where it's like... How can my life get any worse? I mean, I know, of course, it can get worse. I can, like, get diagnosed with... Please don't. Uh, could be worse. That guy could have hit me. But, you know, my bike's in the bloody shop. Trying, you know, I'm waiting for it to be fixed. And then, again, the wife's Mini. Those of you who follow me know that she fucking drives a stupid Mini that breaks down all the fucking time. The engine's making this weird, funny noise, and I've, some Googling shows that it might be this, it's this design fault in the Mini. And BMW refuses to acknowledge that it's an actual design flaw, that it's a faulty design flaw, which means that around 70,000 kilometers, the timing belt needs to be replaced, and if you don't, or timing ch chain needs to be replaced, and if you don't replace it, it snaps and the engine blows up, right? So it's making the same symptoms of noise, and I'm scared to drive it. It's due to go to the mechanic on Tuesday, but I don't want to drive it, so I'm riding this my mum's my mum's fucking 50cc scooter to my wife's dad's place, so my father-in-law's place, to borrow his van until we get the car fixed. How sad is that? I'm gonna be driving a white van for bloody a week. And it just sucks. Life without a bike really sucks. You don't really realise until you lose it, you know? Like just how much joy it brings and how much freedom it brings you know I'm, i've been me and my wife have been carpooling and it just sucks you know i'm stuck in i'm stuck maybe like five kilometers away from my house looking at the time you know and it's been half an hour or something ridiculous and i'm thinking are you this is ridiculous you know are you kidding me i, I would be bloody 10 minutes away from work by now because this is a 70 zone and i'm fucking driving this thing i may as well just ride in the cycle lane Overtake me, come on. I feel bad. I feel bad! Again, I've said this before, don't buy a fucking Mini. And don't crash your bike. Like, 
and there's so much anxiety there was heaps of anxiety as well um because there was some i thought my bike you know might have been a write-off because it's it's insured for an agreed value so i know how much the bike is is worth and then i heard the quote and i was like shit that's actually quite high and i was so scared and the problem as well is that the family's been you know my wife my parents extended family they've all been pressuring me now you know you're thinking about having kids soon maybe it's time to give up on the riding and my brain actually says yes it's 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 true you know i mean i've done my part i've ridden for six years maybe it, you know it's time for me to go okay we're gonna have kids you know maybe i should give up on the bike just for now and, and get a, a a reliable family card so you know i started looking at cars started looking at like kia rios and because they got 70 warranty and hyundai's and so boring so boring and driving the you know i drove my sister's mazda 2 for a couple of days so boring even though it's a manual you know it's just oh just stuck in traffic and it's got no power no one looks at you i like attention i like to make a lot of noise and i like to feel like i'm fucking alive maybe twice a day on my way to bloody work i've always um emphasized the practicality of riding a bike it's cheap it's efficient it's beneficial for everyone but in the end at the end of the day it's how it feels it feels so awesome for like you know half an hour to an hour a day of your life it just it makes you feel so nice it makes you feel like it life's worth living you know i describe that feeling to other people that you know do the freaking rat race catch the bus drive toyota corollas like that one and it, it's they just don't understand so my my repairer has told me fortunately that it looks like my bike will not be a write-off we're still waiting to hear um what my insurance company says the assessor hasn't gone out to see the bike yet we'll see what he says but i really hope it's not a write-off because if it's a write-off i'll get the cash i don't want the cash because if i get the cash i'm scared i'm gonna subdue the pressure and and get a freaking car you know <laughs> i've got to give a lot of credit to scooter riders you know i've always looked at them and gone fuck they look so newbie their bloody scooters are wobbling all over the joint and they've got no skills mate but I mean, maybe it's because I don't normally ride this, but this thing wobbles like this, oh, like I'm riding on a snake. It's ridiculous. Fuck, these brakes are shit. Ah. These brakes don't work. Oh, man. When was the last time you serviced this thing, Mum? Seriously. Anyone thinking about buying one of these, don't. Seriously. 50cc scooter, unless... Unless you know that, like, you're going to be riding around the urban areas. Just at least get, like, a 125 or something. So, come on, at least do something that can do 60 or 70. The problem with riding, I have to say that, you know, after I had the accident, I did kind of start thinking, maybe it is time. You know, I started to agree with, with my family and go, especially with the thought of having kids in the next year or so. You know, there are some weeks where I actually think, I wake up every morning thinking, Will I end up in a wheelchair by the end of today? Every morning of that week. You know, that happens to me about once every couple of months. And that's not a nice feeling to have that. And if I'm looking forward to something like going on a holiday, and I actually think, I wonder if I'll survive. I wonder if I'll be around when, the, when, we, when we go on the holiday. I wonder if I'll actually get to go on the holiday. That's not a nice feeling. It's the life of a biker, you know. It's just, it's just something I have to deal with, I guess. Man, what's going on, lady? You're going slower than me. If I wanted to, I could tailgate you. <laughs> Seriously, you're doing 40, 46 in a 50, in a 60 zone. This is this is what pisses me off. Inconsiderate people like this. Like, you saw me. I was fucking pulling over, pulling into bus stops, doing everything I can to get out of people's way. And then this fucker in a car does 10 under the limit for no good reason. Hello. Um, with the scooter, can I put it in the garage? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck my life.